Hello out there, each and every one of you. I am the Dance of Life Dancer, and I'm putting this on the air. I know the other one went viral, but uh, I'm putting this on the air because I want to describe what happened to me last night at McDonald's in Freeburg. At Freeburg McDonald's. So, um, now you're gonna, I'm going to put the video on after that. The other one that I put on already went viral already, but um, I want to tell my story. I was too nervous and excited to put it to tell it last night, so I want to tell it today instead. Then I'm going to tap the video at the end of it. So here's what really here's what happened. So um, I had got done with a concert in Belleville, and um, I went and said I was going home. You know what I mean? I went and turned on Greenmount Road in um, Belleville and turned on to that, what is that, Highway 1513, or they call it Street, or what, what's the name of that street? I don't remember the name of that street. Highway 1513. Highway 13 goes into 15, goes into 13. So I get in back of these two vans and I looked up the video. I do not air um, Chase video anymore but um, I don't hear the actual chase itself anymore I cut that out several months ago but I um, got in back of these two vans the one van was it was a 55 mile hour speed limit the one van was going 20 25 or something like that so I went around it and let me get them to show you this okay so here's the car I'm here. The, the van's in front of me. I'm here. The van, I'm here. The van's in back of me after I pass it. And I'm in this lane right here. And this, the van, it's a gray van. I looked it up. It's a gray van. It went, I went this way and he went here. In other words, he kept following me from lane to lane to lane. That happened four times. When I went to this lane, he went to this lane. When I went to the left lane, he went to the left lane. At that point, um, I got out of there and he followed me and it was a gray van gray tan van it was the guy that's on the video that's coming up I looked it up it was him so um, anyway it was a short chase probably two three miles well, that's a long enough chase I guess isn't it it went all the way to the Dollar General store going 100 miles per hour at some points we were going a little bit more some points we we're going a little bit less uh, I didn't stop to check the speedometer we turned off on uh, Dollar General store and I went over there because I didn't uh, Dollar General you know you go someplace where you can get some help you know but I seen him turn in the same place he turned in the same place that I was at so I turned around got out of there was almost pushed into a ditch and so I got out of there in a hurry. Same thing. I don't know what the speed was going from there to the next place. Didn't look. It was higher than the 40 that was speed limit though. Um, actually, speed limit is 35 there. But um, okay. So I went into the um, McDon. I went to the McDonald's, which um, that's where the nightmare happens. I went into the McDonald's and um, parking lot. Got out of the car. I guess I'm going to have to wear body cams from now on in order to, put, to take the information exactly because I remember exactly. I went in there. I was panicking, yes. I went in there and I went and said, um, I need help. I need help. I need help. There's a car that chased me 100 miles an hour down the street and I need you to call the police. I need some help here. And that was basically it. That's all I did with McDonald's. I mean, I didn't I didn't get the food. I didn't get any. I didn't. I'm, I need help, I need help, I need help. Uh, this guy's chasing me 100 miles an hour down the highway. I don't know what to do. I looked out the window a couple of times. I left and went back out there. There was a guy standing out there when I got out there. And um, I didn't know it at the time. I suspected it, but did not know it at the time. It was the guy that uh, chased me. So I went out there and he said, he's calling the police. He's on his phone. He said he's calling the police. So I went out you know, I tried to figure out what the hell's going on because I said I wanted the, somebody to call the police because what happened out there. 
However, the police showing up there had nothing to do with the chase out there, I don't think. Because this guy called the police. What do I tell first here? This guy called the police. The one that chased me, I looked at the dash cam video. I got back and front. I looked at it. This guy that, that did this, that chased me, was the one that was there. He was the one that was there and called the police. And get this. He turned the thing around, the story around, and put it upside down. And stated that I was chasing him. He put. He told the police that I was after him. Which the dash cam video clearly does not show that. And actually at one point, he did make contact with the back of my van. I have a, sp a, a, a small paint chip back there where his gray tan color is on there from hitting the back of me. Not hard, just enough to knock the paint off, but and that was going 9,500 miles an hour. So what would have happened if I hadn't done that? But anyway, five police cars shows up there. If you look in the video, you'll... I don't know if you can see them or not, but five police cars show up there eventually. And, uh, so, to make a long story short, the McDonald's gives me a citation. And where is that citation at? McDonald's gives me this. Disorderly conduct. This disorderly conduct is because I went in and... Let me read it to you. Disorder to conduct. Said defendant knowingly entered the red business of McDonald's, 708 North State Street. That's the name of that street. Freeburg, Illinois. All of my problems are in Freeburg. In such a manner which alarmed and disturbed staff and customers' actions. Disturbed staff and customers' actions. Where defendant yelled and screamed about the drivers on Street, Street, State Street chasing her. Uh, which basically says, uh, I went in her, I panicked because this guy already hit my van one time, and he came, he, uh, he came in the, McDon the McDonald's parking lot too, so, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be up, I'm gonna be all panicking because I'm saying, get the police, get the police, hurry up, get the police, get the police, we need the police because they're gonna, you know what I mean, and I basically got a disorderly conduct because they wanted to, uh, run over me. And the McDon I went into McDonald's to get some help, which I'm not going to do that anymore. I'm not going to go anywhere to get any help anymore. Um, they went in I went in McDonald's to get some help, and they um, called the police on me and turned, made it, filed a complaint against me for disorderly conduct because I went in there to ask them, call the police, I need some help. Because I didn't do it all nice and calm. I mean, the guy already banged into my van one time. And chased me down 95 to 100 miles an hour to the point where I'm still sick today over it. And I'm supposed to be all calm and, oh, that's all cool. Just go ahead and run over me 15 times. So, no, I'm not going to be calm. Especially that I have a anxiety disorder that's real bad, which nobody understands. Then they also trespassed me, which means I can't come back. And um, I'm standing out there. I'm listening to this guy. And you see him in here. Watch the video, the first part of it, where he's standing there. That's the guy that chased me. I looked it back up on the... I said it was a white van in the video. But it was not a white van. It was a tan gray van. And I looked it up in the dash cam. And all three of them were the same guy. The one that chased me down there 100 miles an hour was the same guy at Dollar General Store. Which was the same guy at McDonald's. Which was the same guy that stood there and told the police... I don't know if you can hear it on the video or not. You may or may not be able to. I don't know. I got the video out about five, four or five minutes after this thing started. But um, he told the police. He turned the story around and made it out as if I was chasing him. Like, why the hell would I be chasing him? I don't chase people. But he turned that story around and told the police that I was in danger of him. I ran after him. And I got the back of my van, it got damage on the back of my van where he hit me. And came to three different places. Um, he was after me. And that is what happened with yesterday. I wanted you to hear it in my own words. Now I'm going to give you a chance to see the video. I know you've probably seen it already since I've just looked at it. We got, I don't know, 10,000 views on it or something. I don't know, I just looked at it. So, 
Anyway, I want the, my story with it, though, and that's what this is right now today. My story with it. Because that is what happened yesterday, and it was around, I don't know what time was it, but uh, at coming back home from uh, Belleville. Um, I really have nothing more to say except that uh, we're gonna, we're, I'm changing my strategy from now on. So, um, I'm not going to tell you, well, yeah, I will tell you. I'm changing my strategy strategy on how I deal with this from now on. So, you'll find out what the, cha the change is if and when somebody, you know what I mean. So, this, I told him over and over and over again, is extremely dangerous. And, uh, doesn't even make any sense. I mean, I went into the McDonald's to ask them for help. I didn't get no tickets for doing all the, for all of the speeding and all this stuff. They didn't go after the guy that did the thing. He's standing right there. He's sitting right there, and I told him about that. I went back and, and, and checked that out again on my dash cam. That was the guy that chased me. Right there, the one you seen, the very first bit, part of the video. So if you can figure, somebody can figure that out, I cannot. Other than somebody had a plan to do this. I don't know. I don't know. I'm, I'm not the judge. I don't know. Anyway, nothing was done to him. And nothing was done about the, the, the speeding and all the racing and stuff out on the highway. In fact, nothing was done. The only thing was done was the police showed up there because McDonald's called. Or this guy actually called. The guy that chased me called. Then McDonald's called. There was two of them that called. I tried to call too, but my phone got messed up. I, I got a new phone. I don't know how to use it. But, um... I you know what I mean. So, um, this guy is calling him up and told him that I chased him. I mean, if there's ever a joke, that's the funniest one i ever seen in my life. That is so funny I could laugh all, all day. Because of, why the hell would I be chasing him? He's the one that chased me. I mean, the goal of what happened, I mean, to show up at McDonald's and tell the, I mean, is incredible. But anyway, that's what happened. Please watch the video. Thank you.